Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is the second video in our Chimera and Chimera X playlist. In the first one, we learned how to mutate a protein with Chimera. And in this one, we're gonna use Chimera X, which is pretty similar to Chimera. It can also do what we learned in the previous video on how to mutate a protein. Uh, but in this one, we're gonna learn how to clean a PDB structure. I mean, by cleaning, for example, this is a protein it has some antibodies bound to it, some sugars or anything left from the crystallization experiments. And you want to have a clean PDB for your simulations or for your docking uh, calculation. So I know that uh, there are a lot of stuff or, or softwares that can do this, like VMD or whatever, but I like Chimera because it can you it can make you visualize in real time what you are deleting, what you are slicing, uh, and so on. And it might be easier to use other tools to clean stuff, but uh, when you're going to have a, um, a tough modeling problem, you're going to find this video uh, beneficial to you. So in Chimera, you can select whatever you want and delete it in a very nice way. So if I go to select, and if you will find that your chains are grouped according to their function in the protein. So here is the trimer of the protein that we want to keep, which is pretty much this. Uh, and then you have the antibodies, heavy chain and light chain and whatever. So if you go to heavy chain and choose a chain, chain D, you can either uh, say delete cell, which is command line interface, it's gone. Or let's select another one, chain G, which is here. Anything you select in Chimera X or Chimera and become, it, it's going to be highlighted in green. So, and you can say actions for people who like graphical user interfaces, and you say delete, and it's gone. So, let's get rid of all heavy chains. The, the, the left one, the, the, the last one is here. And I'll say actions. Atom bonds and delete. Cool. And we can do the same for the lighter chain. We can select chain, but in this time you can say all. Right? So you'll find the three lighter chains are selected and you can write delete cell. And they, they have gone. Also, you can get rid of anything that which is not protein. So if you hit the control. A key in your keyboard and click left click on the mouse you can select anything like this you see I select two parts and again you can delete the selection but this will take forever to get rid of all these sugars that are on the protein so you can use the selection based on the nature of this residue this this uh, this is stuff are, are non-standard residues are not protein so you can go to select residue all non-standard which will be anything which is not protein. I know this can be done by VMD, which say you can say set atom select protein uh, or not protein, and you can delete the selection. But here we are with Chimera, so you can say delete cell. So now we have your protein, the three chains that you want, and you can save. So to save what you have, I like to, to again to hit the control. Key and then you you click on the on the left uh, key of the mouse and then you, you choose the thing. Once you choose anything from this uh, whole protein, if you uh, if you hit the the, the upper uh, arrow on your key, it will first the first click will will get you the relevant region. Another click will get you the relevant chain or the neighboring chain. Another click. Will, will get you everything. So you go up, it's like, a, you know, sequential selection. So now I selected everything. So I can go to file. I can save this as PDB after cleaning. If you say save, you can here choose save selected atoms only. And we say, you can call this protein only. All right, it's saved. All right, so let's get rid of our raw file and let's import the newly uh, saved uh, protein. So I go to file and open it, protein only. 
and now you have only your 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 protein uh, atoms. You don't have any non-standard stuff. Uh, you can go more in in selecting and deleting uh, by showing the sequence of what you have, and then select the amino acids from the sequence and delete them. So if you go to tools and you go to sequence, it can show your sequence viewer. It will ask you which part you wanna uh, you wanna show, which sequence you wanna show from your uh, from your uh, loaded model. So here, this is the, the raw file, but here is our uh, clean file, which is protein only chain A, chain B, chain C. I'll choose all of them, and then you're gonna have you're gonna have all the sequence here. All right, let's make it bigger. Okay, say I don't want to have this in my structure for a reason I don't know, maybe for, depending on your research question. I want to get rid of this alpha helices here. So I select them again, delete cell, right? I want to delete all of this with the same concept, delete. You're gonna know the value of this easy way of selecting when you have tons of models that you modeled, loaded together and you want to graph them or stitch them together, there's a repetition. Uh, so this will be a very fast and efficient way in visualizing and selecting what you really want for future analysis or future simulation. All right, we can do the opposite without selecting. Instead of selecting and deleting, we can select and save. So from chain B, I want, say, this, this domain, All right? I select that and I, I say save, save selected atoms only, and we call it selected, All right? Okay, let's get rid of this sequence and let's hide this and make it bigger. Okay, you open the selected. So I sliced my PDB and saved it and I will use it for a future simulation or whatever. So I find this very efficient. Uh, so you can see what you are doing, what you are selecting at a sequence level. So it can be very precise of what you are cutting. For example, I want to get rid of this G, All right? So you can delete this and then stitch it to another sliced region or whatever. Uh, people who are doing locker modeling will get uh, the idea behind why this is important than just deleting everything. That's pretty much for this video. I hope you like it and expect more on Chimera and Chimera X in the coming weeks, if not days, if I have time to do so. That's it and enjoy your computations.